them cheering okay today we're gonna make olive gardens chicken and pasta or pasta and chicken in the crock pot okay and get you some noodles your favorite noodles i'm gonna use panay noodles panay panay tomato tomato however you pronounce it okay we're gonna use that and we, you get you some parmesan cheese you can use the grated or the regular cheese get you some cream cheese okay get the main ingredient get you this olive garden 16 ounce of italian dressing okay you see that good okay now let me take it step by step get you about a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast this is thin that's why i like it's a lot of pieces you don't have to season your chicken but i am okay now, some people think this uh, Italian dressing is overpowering uh, when you use the whole bottle. So you could choose to use the whole bottle or half the bottle. I'm going to use the whole bottle, but I'm going to kind of tweak the recipe a little bit. I'm going to tweak it uh, so it won't be so twangy twang. Because what it is is going to be a little twang to it, okay? My hands is washed. Season that up. Flip it. And like I said, you don't have to do this part. I'm just doing it. You might hear some lawnmowers in the background. Uh, it's springtime, so the grass is high from all this rain. So everybody want to cook. I mean cook. <laughs> everybody want to cut their grass. When I'm gonna do my little video. Girl, they crazy. I ought to go out there. Look, I'm trying to record a YouTube. <laughs> They're gonna be like, oh, girl, go back in the house. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken in the crock pot. It don't matter if it's overlapping or whatever. Or you, you know, you could get you two big chicken breasts or something. Put that in now. But like I said, this is thin cut. So, do that. Okay. Next. Hold on. Okay. Next, the recipe calls for... It calls for some... Like I said, this... The Olive Garden Italian dressing. What you gonna do... It's pour the whole bottle in there. But let me tell you what I'm finna do, okay? Hold on. Ooh. To help with the twang. Hey, my bulb just blew. Hold on, y'all. See if you can see that. Okay. Okay, to help with the twang, I'ma put uh, two eight ounce cream cheese in mine, okay? Use the recipe called for one. Now you can use one if you want to. Use your one and a half to two pounds of chicken breast, one of these, but I'm using two. And guess what else I'ma do? I'ma put a can of cream of chicken in mine. Cause when I tell your girl, believe me, it's fine. Okay, so let's get this party started. I'ma go ahead, it don't matter which order you put it in cause it's all gonna mix together. I'm gonna go ahead and put this Italian dressing in, like that, okay? Then, I'm gonna put the cream cheese on top. Like I said, if you're going by the recipe, just put one. I'm using two, because it helps with that twang twang. If you like a lot of twang twang, then just <laughs> use one. I'm using two, okay? Then, the recipe calls for some Parmesan cheese. I'm using the grated one. You, it, it calls for one fourth cup of grated cheese. But guess what, I'm gonna put however much I want on here. But you can put one fourth cup, okay? 
Then, like I said, I'm going to put a can of cream of chicken. At this point, you're done. If you're going by the recipe, you want one block of cream cheese and your um, Olive Garden dressing, okay? At that point, you're done. You put your lid on. You go about your business like you put your Parmesan cheese on. But I'm going a little further, like I said, because I don't want a whole bunch of twine twine. Okay? I'm just going to put this in there. I ain't going to mix it up till it starts cooking good. Okay? All right. Then we're going to put the top on. You're going to cook it on high for four hours. Or if you want to cook it on low, cook it for six hours, okay? I'm going to cook on cook mine half for four hours. When we come back, what we're going to do is shred the chicken, okay? What I'm going to do to shred the chicken, I'm going to use a hand mixer because it's easier and shred this chicken. If you don't have that or if you don't want to do that, you can either take the chicken breast out, shred it up, and then put it back in the pot. Or you can shred it while it's in the pot, whichever one you prefer, okay? But I'm going to be right back, girl, when I get through cooking this chicken. And like I said, oh, I didn't say that. I said like I said. When it's almost done, probably when it get about five, ten minutes left, go ahead and cook your pasta. Because you're, you're going to cook your pasta. Then we're going to put the cooked pasta in the crock pot, okay? So about five to ten minutes, when it's almost done, cook your pasta, okay? And I'll be right back. I'll show you, girl. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It's been four hours. The chicken is ready. So I'm about to shred the chicken, okay? I'm going to use a little mixer. To shred the chicken. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Now, yeah, it got a little mixy in here, but so what? Uh, it shredded the chicken. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now we're gonna put we're gonna put some um more parmesan cheese in here. Put you some more parmesan. Okay, and then we're gonna put our noodles. Gonna put our noodles in now. And this is a uh, one pound of noodles. Okay. You just stir it off in there. And like I said, if you want to do it the original Olive Garden Italian dressing way, you would just use uh, one to uh, two pounds of chicken, one block of the cream cheese, and that whole bottle of uh, 16 ounces of the dressing. But if you don't like that twine, do it like this. If you don't like too much of that twine twine. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Y'all, and I'm serious. This tastes really, really good. It might look, it might look a hot mess. <laughs> it might look a hot mess, but it tastes really good. And I'm going to put some Parmesan. I mean, girl, I'm going to put some parsley on it. Okay, and that's it. She's done. She is done. Get off of now. She is done. And I'm going to plate her up for you. Okay? And I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay. This is the finished product of the Olive Garden chicken and pasta in the crock pot. That's a long sentence, ain't it? Check her out. She cute. She cute. No, nah, I take it back. She ain't that cute. <laughs> but she tastes real good, y'all. Trust me. You got to try it. Trust me. It tastes really, really good. She might not be on the cute, cute side, but she she all right. 
but she tastes really good. I'm telling you, she's she's addictive. And it's real quick. It's something quick you can fix with your, fa you know, for your family. Like throw it in the crock pot, and then you can go about your day. Come back home and do the little shredding junk, and then you done basically. Okay? Cause you see how fast I did that. It wasn't nothing to it. And if you just do it the the original way, if you like that twine, just put that chicken in there, put that uh, uh dressing in there, put your cream cheese and your parmesan cheese. Okay? That's all you got to do. But since I don't like that strong, strong, twang, twang, then that's why I go the extra step and put an extra bar <laughs> of the uh, cream cheese and that uh, uh, cream of chicken soup, okay? But she fat. I'm telling you, you got to try it. And it's something quick, 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 okay? You might not want to try it this weekend because, you know, it's Easter weekend, so you might either be grilling or cooking a big dinner or whatever. But next week, girl, when you don't feel like cooking, throw it in the crock pot. I mean, just try it out. She real good. But okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> if y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button, share this thing on your social media. I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me. And y'all stay safe out there. Y'all, them vaccines are out there, but please still wear your mask because people still catching it, okay? People still catching it. So we're trying to have fun this summer. So wear your mask for a short time till they say, okay, you can take them off, okay? That's probably going to be 2024 or something like that. But just wear your mask, okay? And, you know, be safe. And I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all again next time. Bye-bye.